Proposed safety tax in Crawford County, Illinois could help local emergency services. News sends Rachel Law explains the details of the tax and how local residents feel about it. While many in Robinson I spoke with say they feel taxed to death, others say they think the safety tax is a good thing. The tax will add 1% onto most sales in the county. The proposed safety tax would go on to more leisurely shopping or dining. It would not affect necessities like groceries or vehicle purchases. Community Board Chairman Bill Burke shared that annually, the county would receive anywhere from $800,000 to $1 million from this tax. Burke says this would prevent raising property taxes. I feel like no one wants to have more taxes, but from the sounds of what I have been learning about it, it's something that the money's going to have to come from somewhere. When you go to vote on November 5th, you'll be prompted with a question of whether or not you want the safety tax to be authorized. All you have to do is check yes or no. Burke hopes that community members will ask questions before the election and give their feedback. He says it's important to make sure everyone is on the same page. A lot of our needs the last two or three years was ARPA money and moving forward that's gone. So to replace some vehicles and provide a quality service to the taxpayers of the community, we're just trying to think outside the box outside of raising property taxes. Lori Hodge says knowing what you are voting for is important. That way, you know the effects of the decision you make. That people can inform themselves and make their own educated decision about whether they want to vote for it or not. You can contact the county board before the proposal is finalized. That information is on our website at WTHITV.com. In Crawford County, Rachel Law, News 10.